first just going to do a quick vid on um, cupping a little alloy prop um, this is just a little cheap one I got off eBay it's 15 pitch and yeah, it's roughly got no cup on it at all but um, a while back I took the tinny out testing this one a little I think it's a 10 and a quarter by 14 mercury quicksilver prop and um, yeah it ran up to 50 mil with a jack plate jack to 50 mil it ran quite well so what I'm going to do is I'll run this ball blader get a baseline on it and then I'll go up pull the trailer off the ute and give her a tap on the toe ball and round some cup in it and show you what to do and then yeah give it a run again and see what improvement it gives us but um oh, that's my engine height there with the jack plate 50 mil believe it or not this little alloy prop can still run at that height the little quicksilver which quite surprised me so if this one can run at that height surely this one can so i'll go down tomorrow and give her a hit Righto, so this will be the base run, uh, the little four blader with no cup on it. I'll give it a hit and see how it goes. It's just revving its guts out. It doesn't want to go anywhere. I think it did like 46 Ks and it was doing five and a half thousand RPM. So yeah. Uh, well, there you go. 48 kilometers an hour at five and a half thousand RPM. Oof. She's ventilating a bit. What I'll do, going back to the ramp, I'll just go slow and see if it'll go any better. Sort of like just playing it at a slower speed, maybe. All right. so I'm going to have to use the crowbar but um, what you're looking for is just to get the edge of your prop roughly you know towards the tip just right on that little arc and just sort of 
aim for the curve of the toe ball to probably be about, I don't know, five, maybe 10 mil in from the edge of the blade. Just give it a light tap. Roughly how it's starting to curve that blade up. Anyhow, I'll keep cracking with it and show you when I'm done. Uh, well, that's her there. I've sort of gone a bit heavy on the cuff. I like to tip them, cuff them towards the tip of the blades, but yeah, it'll roll it on a bit. Could have been a bit neater. I've only had a bloody pry bar to do it. The hammer would have been a lot better, but anyhow, go and give her a crack. Righto, so this is after putting a bit of toe ball cuff on it, give her a go and see how she goes. What a difference that made. I um I seen 75 on the sounder, I don't know what its max speed was, but it was going pretty good. Made a hell of a difference. It still ventilated just a little bit getting out of the hole, but yeah, pretty pretty impressive. Oh, there you go, 76 Ks an hour. That's a massive difference from a bit of cup, eh? see how it goes like doing some slow planing and a couple of tight turns see if it holds on still
Yeah, tight turns not so good. It's still ventilating a bit, especially in the super tight ones. It just drops off plain, but yeah, a bit more fine tuning on the cupping. Should tune that out, but yeah, pretty good. Yeah, so that's a cupping there. I've added on that prop, like, needs a bit of a tidy up, but like I said, I, I forgot to take my hammer and banging it on with the pinch bar is probably not the best thing to do it with. But yeah, it, it helped a lot, as you could see by the video. Like, yeah, the boat was ventilating, was struggling, you know, doing like 40 something Ks an hour and a bit of cupping. She hooked up and away it went. Last net about 76, so yeah, it's worth giving it a go yourselves if you've got a like a little tinny and it's ventilating three turns or it blows out a bit getting out of the hole. Just, um, yeah, have a crack yourselves. Just, um, yeah, get a decent solid hammer and have a little bit of a tap away on the table and just take your time bit by bit. And yeah, start off small and don't go as aggressive as I have to start with, but yeah, start off a little bit smaller and then give it a run and just keep cutting it up a little bit by bit until you find that sweet spot. You can, go too hard on the cupping and it will just kill the performance of the prop. It'll just bog down and yeah, it becomes too much of a pig. Like that there, I wouldn't really want to go much more than what I've cupped this prop. Like that, in all essence, that's probably added another inch of pitch with that much cup on it. But yeah, anyhow, give it a go and see how you go. All right.